What do you mean by photographers have to move on their feet and be very agile? Many of us as, photo as photographers, we see something we want to photograph, pick up our camera and shoot it. And we don't think if we have, if we have time, it depends on how much time you have. If before the subject moves or before the picture is no longer there. But if you have the time, think about moving. You're, you're not glued to that spot. You can move all around that, that whatever the subject is, different places. Also, we're all different heights. Some of us are tall, some of us are shorter. That should not have to interfere with you being able to take a picture from different perspectives. If it, if it works, lie down on the floor. I've done it. Um, or hold your camera. One thing to practice is how to is holding your camera above your head and aiming and seeing whether the, you're able to pick the right angle to take a photograph from up high. I've always been upset that I'm not very tall because other photographers, they stand above me and they're able to take different pictures. So practice at, at different heights, take pictures at different heights, move around, different sides, different angles, and you'd be surprised that you'll see things that you didn't see when you first saw your subject, when you first saw a picture that you wanted to make. Um, so I, I, it's very important. The other thing is look behind you. Sometimes you're looking in front of you and the best picture is really behind you. So you can, you can turn around in different directions, but I, I, I know that I do it too. I see something I want to photograph, I stand there and I snap the picture. And I don't always think that maybe it's better, I should take the time and walk around and see what the best angle to compose my picture the way I really want.